I'm Ashley Robertson, Certified Wellness Coach, and I want to talk to you real quick about the link between candida overgrowth and antibiotics. And it is astounding to me what I've uncovered in my own research of this, and I encourage you to Google candida overgrowth and antibiotics. But first I want to explain to you what's happening to your intestinal tract when you take the antibiotic. It does not just target the disease, virus, um, infection, whatever reason that you were taking it in the first place, it's not just going to kill off all of that, which it will do, but it also kills off all your healthy, friendly bacteria that's in there. And what makes that so bad is we're all born with a little bit of candida yeast inside our bodies. Our bodies were built to tolerate that yeast in that small amount. It's there for digestion and to take our bodies into the ground when we die. What happens when we take the antibiotic and it kills off everything, including the good bacteria, now that candida, it shoots off, it explodes like a rocket inside your intestinal tract, filling up all those spaces and taking on all those cells where the friendly bacteria had previously been keeping it at bay. Because you can never fully get rid of the candida. It's always going to be right there, that little bit. However, when it gets huge and takes over your intestinal tract, that's where a lot of your autoimmune disorders, gastro diseases, and other illnesses, it's been, it's been linked to countless health issues. I Go ahead and Google, if you're experiencing any health issues, Google it with Candida, and I can guarantee you that there's probably some link there. There's, just, there's very few things out there that don't seem to have this connection. And there's a lot of ways for the Candida overgrowth to occur, but the sole purpose of this video is just the antibiotics. So we'll definitely talk about that in another video. Another thing that happens when you take the antibiotic is it, it deplenishes a lot of your vitamins and nutrients in your body, like calcium, magnesium, vitamin B, vitamin C, and other things. So now that that's all happened, so many people report after a round of their antibiotics that they actually get an, another form of an infection or they're getting sick again. And you are susceptible to infections and getting sick again because you've completely shut down and suppressed your immune system. 80% of your immune system is in your intestinal tract and colon, which is why having a healthy balance of healthy bacteria in, in your intestinal tract is so important. So here are, way, here are two strong pieces of advice in keeping your body regulated, keeping your intestinal tract regulated, whether you have taken antibiotics or not. First and foremost, you want to be on a good quality probiotic, and you want to make sure that you're on one that's got a good antifungal with it. I represent a company that sells one. I'd love to share more with you about that, but you absolutely have to be on a good quality probiotic antifungal system every single day. Point number two, you got to make up for the deficiencies that, that the antibiotic has taken from your body. And honestly, which has taken a multivitamin, a good quality multivitamin. And honestly, what I was getting ready to say with that is diet alone, you just cannot get the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that you need anymore. So it's so important to be taking a, a good quality multivitamin anyways to, to fill in those deficiencies, make sure your body getting everything it needs to run at optimal levels and then having those good probiotics. The antifungals come in, they kill off the candida, it makes room for more of the probiotics to thrive and you've got this fabulous balanced ecosystem going on within your intestinal tract. So that's the dangers of the antibiotics. I could go on so much more about it, but I want to keep this short. If you have questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me and I really hope that this helped and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.